actually those are two different questions. Um, why is there the gap and, and why is it now starting to be filled? I think it's now starting to be filled because we can. And that's new. Uh, in our particular case, Jim and I have tried to explain that, and I really can't over overstress, I can't overstate how earth shattering this is in the world of medicine and neuroscience that we have proven neurogenesis exists. And as Jim stated, that furthermore, we're not limited to acute injury. We can do something about what a professional would call a chronic injury and what I as a layman would call an old stabilized injury. That is gigantic news. We've also given you the obligatory caveat, which is that we've proven this so far in rats. We haven't done primates, we haven't done humans. If you strip away the, the caveats and you strip away the, uh, the cautionary statements and try to get down to the bottom line of it, what is it? And I would say it's this. Um, the takeaway from neuro repair, I hope, is um, I expect to see all of you at fire next year without the cane, without the limp, and with a left hand that works. Now, I don't know that that's going to happen. It, it's just not possible to know at this point if that's going to work. What I do know for sure, because we have rock-solid scientific proof, is that it's possible. And that in itself is big news. It is possible. And I know that a year ago, it wasn't. Good. I think that's a big deal. Thank you very much. He will also tell you... He will, also tell you, he will also tell you that he's only doing it for himself. It's not true. It's not true. Thank you very much.